well, what made you make the call to reach out to me? I was more unsure about what direction to take. Like, I just felt very lost, very unsure. And that kind of just had a negative impact on my mental health. I was just constantly thinking negatively, not living in the moment. I kept thinking my time in Melbourne was a waste of time and money. And I just didn't feel like what I was going to be doing now at uni was going to be helpful at all. And it was just going to be more of a waste of time. And it just came to a point where I was like, I can't keep doing this. And I think there was a lot of other factors going on as well with, with COVID, which didn't help either. Um, I didn't feel like I was on campus at all, you know, have a campus experience. So I just felt like so overwhelmed and stressed with the work when it's like, surely, like it can't be this bad. Like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah. Um, because I've seen other students and yeah, you get stressed with uni, but not to a point where you, you just feel like you just want to give up uni. It's a trigger point. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I need to seek help. Yeah. I had I had gone to not a psychologist but like just the counsellor um, and whilst it was good to just get things off my chest like I didn't feel like I was getting as much out of it as I probably could have like she was she was more just said to, to someone to listen to not to someone to actually give me some actual life advice and strategies to help with my perfectionism or with my negative thought patterns and yeah, it just came to the point where it was like, I actually think life coaching, well, mum suggested life coaching would have been a better option. Mm. Yeah. And so how's your experiences been during our sessions, particularly because it's been online? Yeah, I, I, honestly, I was a bit sceptical at first about being online. I'm like, how, like, you know, because I've known from Zoom meetings at uni, like, it's not as good as being able to actually go in um, and participate in the seminars. So I'm like, how is this going to work online? How is it going to affect whatever I end up getting out of it? So, but no, it's been good, especially because you, you like you send through things in the email through emails, so I can access them in a Word document. I can send them out and whatever. So, and at least you know we're still seeing each other face to face, even though it's yeah. virtual. So, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And so, what benefits did you gain from the whole process? The whole journey. Like I was saying, like I was just before I came, I was just really stressed, overwhelmed. I was constantly self doubting myself, um, thinking I'd never amount to nothing because I just felt like I had no purpose, no direction whatsoever. And that was very different to how I'd been feeling when during year twelve I had a very clear goal, what I wanted, you know, what ATR I wanted to achieve. I knew exactly how I was going to achieve that, as we have talked about. Now, I've, I've, I've learned a lot about myself in terms of how to relax with study now, not be so, I think you still get stressed when assignments come up, like that's normal. I've learned to put things into perspective a bit more, which is good, like, you know, probably if this was me last year with that 10 point quiz, I probably would have cried about it. Yeah. Like, you know, that I've only just passed it, like, oh my God, I'm so bad. <laughs> like, um, but no, I'm like, I've been, I've learned a lot kinder to myself as well. I think when I realised that things, especially with my study habits, they weren't working well, I found solutions to fix them. They've worked. So now I feel like I'm, I am achieving things and I am in a much better mindset to you know, focus on my study and then when it's dance, focus on my dance, when it's work, focus on work. Um, and create a much better balance in my life because that was the thing I wasn't getting this time last year. I was just, I felt like I was, I was working hard but not necessarily working smart. And so I was just constantly feeling anxious and overwhelmed, not giving permission, allowing myself to have breaks because it was just felt like there was a mountain of work to do all the time. And I've learned now there's, it's almost impossible to stay ahead of uni work, but as long as you're not falling behind then, and you're at least keeping up with the content, there's always going to be something to do, whether it be reading or seminar, seminar prep lectures to watch. But as long as you're keeping up with the content, then you're doing something right. Definitely what I've 
benefit, how I've benefited from <laughs> from the session. Beautiful, because remember yeah. when we first started, you rated um, when we did the wheel. You rated personal development number two out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the area you focused on. So if you think about it now, what would you rate for personal development now out of ten? Probably an eight. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can see that clearly when you first came on today, the amount that you're actually now achieving in your life. And yet you've got more. You're doing more yeah. than what you were doing last year. I am. Year. You're achieving more. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So you can definitely see what's, what's going on. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and when we did your archetypes, yeah. you know, doing the passion purpose, how did you find that? Yeah. Like, I think it confirmed like things I probably already knew about myself. I never, maybe stuff that maybe I never really wanted to admit, I don't know, or kind of didn't think was very relevant. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, like whatever. But yeah, now it's like, oh yeah, that, that just makes a lot, a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. thing about that is because a lot of people go into depression and anxiety because they're detached from who they are. And when mm -hmm. you understand who you are, and you, you know, you're showing that by, you know, being in the moment because you know who you are, what you want, and what you can, can't do now. So you, it's almost yeah. like, you know, now you know, you've got that connection back to you, you understand who your authentic self is. And when we do that, we can set boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, so set those healthy boundaries mm. which you've been doing. Yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Would you recommend coaching with me to anyone? Yeah, I've yeah spoken very highly of you. When people have, well, not people have asked me. I haven't really told many people I've been doing life coaching. But when, especially Ross's family, I think I've told them about it, and I think they've seen a bit of a change in me. Or whenever I've been out to someone, I've mentioned, oh, yeah, I've been doing life coaching, and they're like, oh, has it? What's that like? And I'm like, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely recommend. <laughs> oh, beautiful. And and that's an interesting question, actually. You said that other people have seen changes in you. I think I was in the car once with Ross's sister, Georgia. Um, we were driving somewhere. And this was kind of when we had maybe just started life coaching, like maybe a few couple of months into it. And she goes, yeah, I, I see a change in you. Like you're a bit more relaxed about things now you're not so heightened <laughs> which was yeah nice to see yeah, and cool. even mum said yeah I think you've coped with the study especially even last semester semester two last year so you've coped fairly well with the study compared to brilliantly one. absolutely brilliantly yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well yeah. you'll have to thank your mum for me yeah your mum oh, being, yeah she, she's really you know guided you and sort of allowed our connection to, yeah. to happen you've been really really good um and you've you know you've i like how you take notes as well because that also reminds me sometimes <laughs> Um, when we've talked about something and been like, oh yeah, that's good that she's written notes. I don't have to worry about taking those <laughs> notes. <laughs> yeah, good that you actually listen. And I've really enjoyed when you've given me those, um, those oh, the audio, audio acts, the, um, Yeah, the hypnotherapy. Yeah, channel. they're really good. To, I sometimes listen to them when I go to bed just to help me relax yeah. sometimes. I've been yeah using them a few times in the last couple of weeks just because I've like long days I don't get to bed maybe till 11 30 12 and then I, it's really hard for me to go from typing on my computer and then two seconds later going in bed and be like okay so now we gotta sleep how are we supposed to switch off yeah. <laughs> so yeah I've been using those which have been fairly good switch focus and get to bed been really good like that <laughs> good beautiful you're an amazing young lady you've yeah. got such a an, oh gosh a phenomenal future ahead of you and you have such clarity. You, you, you have, honestly, uh, and I've, I work with young people, but you are an old soul. You have got your head. Thank you. Up. And I feel privileged that I was able to help yeah. sort some of that stuff out for you. And, oh, you're making me cry now. Yeah. And you've got so much to look forward to because you, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Amazing. Funny that you say, um, I'm an old soul because um, you're not the first to say that, actually. <laughs> Big yeah. heart, beautiful girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. All right.